Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not in the camera, I'm never in the camera, but I'm trying to focus on the journal. Um, this is another junk journal flip through, and this is the latest one that I made. It's really, really big. Well, it's not as big as like some that I've seen, because I've seen some really, really big ones and gorgeous ones, but it is um, the biggest one I've made. And so, this is some of the tassel, you can see the chain, some little charms, and this little charm, and it has the catch up here, so it can hook into the ribbon, okay, and the cover, um, I chose this part of the cover, it says, from memory, has painted this, um, not that this part's cut off, but that's okay. And then, and we, and so, I put lace all the way around, into the back, and the print that you see is actually a jelly plate print that I did. Um, any of the painted type work in here, it's all jelly plate and done um, by hand by me. Um, you'll see these little charms. And it has the charm latch. And it has the chain so that more charms can be added to it. These are just some bead um, little tassel type things that I did um, that I made and then attached with some split rings. And so you'll see the lace all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm at a weird angle, so I'm going to turn the book really quick. Um, I am behind, like I'm, I have a microphone stand holding my phone while I do the flip through, but it also has me this way <laughs> to the book, but <laughs> I want to make sure it's in frame and I want to see what I'm filming. So this should cover the entire thing. Um, this book contains um, sheet music paper. It does contain some of the um, paper studio paper products, but small amounts. Um, I don't tend to use a lot of the, like the scrapbooking papers because I like to make handmade paper, but then I also fill it with hand-stained paper and stitching. So, here's the inside cover. This is a jelly plate print, and it's sealed. Uh, I don't know if you can see the soft pink. I think when I change the angle you can see the color um, so of course I have tons of the lacy ribbon um, I have stitches throughout the journal this is handmade paper it's really really soft uh, and here we go so flipping the first page um, I handmade the envelopes there's a couple that are not handmade in here I don't think maybe one that isn't handmade um, this is some of the paper studio, but like I said, I use it in small pieces, and I actually attach it to the stained paper that um, I hand stain with coffee. And so here's a little tuck with some handmade paper inside. I'll tuck it in a few more times. Another little tuck here, and then we have a little book, more lace, stitching that I do on all the pages. Um, more stitching here, but some extra writing space. This book has tons of writing space. A little charm here at the end. I um, learned a cool little technique when staining my papers 
on how to get this line working. And so a lot of my papers have these lines or these patterns. And I'm hoping I'm not pulling the camera down. I have a power cord running right through. I know it's in frame, so extra, actually wrapping paper that I had. Um, more handmade paper. This has rose um, petals on it. And I just love making handmade paper. It's become my new little um, passion, and I have a stack of handmade paper intended for these journals, but I think it adds a unique touch because with handmade paper you can make them in so many different ways. And you can change the colors, you can add embossing if you lay the paper on something when it's wet. And so, um, just, there's so many opportunities that handmade, that come with handmade paper, and I think that when you incorporate it into journals, it just adds something special. It's very unique. It's not store-bought. I use a, a decal when I have a large bin, and I use recycled paper, so all those bills that I've paid or um, letters that you get in the mail, I just run them through my shredder. I take that paper and um, mix it with hot water, and I put it in my blender, and then I add whatever coloring or... Um, things that I want to add to the paper, so like roses, or um, my last journal I had coffee paper, so it was interesting. Um, see, this is how I use the scrapbooking pa paper, but I'll make small little things like extra little envelopes, little tucks. This is another envelope that I made from the stained paper. So, I made a lot of these little embellishments, little tags, um, and I would say, like, um, I didn't, for this book, I didn't have any pre-printed images that I purchased or anything. This is everything that I, sorry, this little tag is loose, um, I printed all these, I gathered which ones I wanted to use, how I wanted to use them. In some instances, I layered images and created my own digital graphic. And so, um, here's some more ribbon. So when I say handmade, you know, I mean, obviously I didn't make the scrapbooking paper, but when you see all the work that goes into this, this is where the handmade comes from. I leave a lot of these little threads. I like it. You know, I like all these little dangly little threads on the pages. See, this is the patterning I'm talking about, and I'm pretty sure you can see it. Okay, so we have another little bookmark here. We have a little belly band that's shortened off with pinwheels. Um, more homemade paper tucked in. Another little envelope with a tuck. It's right here. It's real small. And that just goes right in there. I have these little paper clip tags that I use. Um, you can see them. They're attached to the pages that I made. Um, of course, I have these paper flowers. I'm trying to figure out how to make these darn paper flowers um, and do them well enough that they have like this embossed texture, but here's handmade paper on this, ribbon, more of the scrapbooking paper here, more rose paper, wrapping paper, another jelly print, and it opens up, and there's two little type tucks, some extra little paper, and then happy little accidents. I did stitching here, and then I kind of pulled the stitching out to see what would happen, and I just, I like that. Um, try different stitching if you're making one of these. It's fun to do the different stitches. Um, try not to run your stitching over glued pages, or glued work, because the glue will stick to your needle, but 
into more paper, ribbon, another little tassel, not tassel, but embellishment, bead embellishment, lace. I love this. I couldn't wait to use this in something. Um, it says pure goat milk soap, and um, I got it off a bar of, obviously, goat milk um, soap, but um, it's the cutest little thing. More handmade paper. There's room in here, and the reason is for when people add, whoever ends up with this book, I'm sorry, my dog is in the background barking, but whoever might end up with this book, you want that extra space in there um, so that you can add things to your pages and not have it overfilled. A little doily here, stained. Some more of the paper studio, but and envelopes. I love this envelope. You can see those little patterns. Um, extra paper to write on in here. My dog is whimpering in the background because she wants to go bark outside, um, but I'm not letting her. I hope this video isn't too long. This is a really big book. Um, but, so those little spools of ribbon that you can buy, um, the ends, they come off real easy, and unintentionally I had a bunch of them that came off, and I thought, well, how great to use it as a little tuck. So, I have a few of these in the book. Some extra pages here that fold out. I just love this little section here, one of my favorite parts. Every book is different. More handmade paper, some lace here, a little envelope that's tucked in. Um, more paper here, handmade paper, and a little paper clip embellishment up here. Wrapping paper. Because you fold registers in half, um, like you'll get one end of the wrapping paper into like a whole other section. I think this register started here somewhere. I think right here. And so um, you'll see repeating papers that'll come up again further down. <clears throat> Another little embellishment. This is one of my favorite pages. You have envelope to tuck in here. You have where it folds open. Um, I treated this with a matte finish um, golden product that allows for somebody to write on it so they can write notes on it. But then it also flips up. So here's the other side of that paper. I just love this. When I discovered that um, the paper would do this, and you have to use baking trays, the uh, drying racks, or um, yeah, the cooling racks, sorry. Um, and they have the lines, and you have to make sure you put it on the right side of the cooling rack. And when they are hot in the oven, when you put the paper on it, the paper in those areas, um, the stain in the areas will darken immediately. More handmade paper. There's a lot of handmade paper in here, and like I said, I like to use that. It's um, unique. And it's almost like a fingerprint to the journal because you're not going to get the same type of paper from somebody else. I mean, I have different paper in my recycle bin um, than somebody else might. Like this one has actually bits of roses as well as a purple and red. And then that adds to the tinting of it. And then um, here's another little fold. Um, fold, 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 and some sheet music, and this is also treated with a mat treatment so that you can write on it. Plenty of writing space. Two little envelopes. These envelopes are not handmade. Um, just these two here, but I kind of wanted to get this little crisscross effect 
and so um, I didn't have envelopes that I had made that were this big. I had the smaller ones, so I went ahead and used um, little envelopes that I have. Handmade paper, and of course these little embellishments. This is also treated so that you can write on it. Doily, more rose paper, and see how the front is different from the back. It's just when you pull up your decal where the paper, where the material lies. Um, lace, this is a little wet right now. I just glued this in, so sorry it looks a little weird, but um, I glued this in here so that I could hang my tassel up at the top and have a little more accent. So once that glue dries in there, it'll be clear and it won't even show through. So this is multiple images that I took and blended together and did effects on it. And so I got this and then a little lace. Oops, this thread is caught on something. And it does not want to let go. So I think it's caught on here somewhere. That's funny. They're so long, I don't know how it got caught. Oh, it got caught in some glue. <laughs> okay, so salvage. There we go. Um, yeah, some more paper here. The lace, a little dangly here. I love this little charm. You can add your own charms. That's the beautiful thing about these journals and why I fell in love with them. Um, I love to write. My honey pointed out I need to make one for myself. <laughs> this is going to be for sale. So, um, hopefully I can get this up in my shop um, on Etsy. And the links will be below probably after I post this because I have to do the links in the computer. I can't do them from the phone. But more paper clip embellishment. Um, another jelly print that I made. And it folds open. An envelope. Some stitching decorative with papers. Journaling pages. More little tab um, tucks. about the yarns, it's late, and um, another little embellishment that I made, layering, and then layering again, and then also I think I did use, yeah, this is the scrapbooking paper below, but I layered all this, the other side of the jelly print, more handmade paper, more tucks, Handmade paper, just stitching them together in different ways. Another little tag. Handmade paper. You'll see this is the like deckled edge and it's real soft. Um, the belly band. Handmade paper. And again, you have a little more space in here to just allow room for the person who buys it to add more to it. More tuck space, more tags I made, and these little embellishments, envelopes stitched in that can fold up, and then it has extra paper inside. Sheet music, I love this, the color of my true love's hair, and it says, I think I do. Black is the color of my true love's hair. And then on this side, it just has the quote review. Here's some more of those ribbon tucks. And I'll just pull them out from underneath and tuck under. Two. And we're stitched in. And like I said, I do a lot of stitching also. This is sewn. 
you so you can see the threading here um, it's sewn into um, book binding fabric and then glued into the book on that the sheet music night song stained paper another little embellishment handmade stitching and you'll notice also so when I load my um, paper my thread into my sewing machine <laughs> um, my bobbin will have one color and then my uh, main thread will have a different color so there's color variation. Another little tag, extra paper, or tuck, another doily. See, I love this lined paper, and it'll come in a little closer just so. Hopefully, I flash my hand so that you can see those lines. And homemade paper. And then I finished off again with another jelly print that I did. And yeah, the, um, let me see if I can reach a roller really quick. As I reach across and hopefully don't knock over everything. But you can see the book is about nine inches. Not including, of course, the ribbon that sticks out. But, so nine inches from top to bottom. And it is six and a quarter. And this is almost three inches a shy. It's just a little shy three inches by three millimeters, so three or four, you can see, gosh, but, um, yeah, so, it's a really good size book, it can hold a lot of memories, and if you're interested, um, you can message me, I'm going to be putting it in my Etsy shop as soon as I, um, set up my camera to take some good pictures this weekend, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a little clasp and the chain. And there we have it. Thank you for watching. Check the links down below, um, which will be posted after I'm able to edit <laughs> the video on YouTube. But thanks for watching. Bye!